Hello everybody. So, my name is Kalin. I'll speak about uh, reactive things. Um, but uh, first of all, this is the last, uh, the last lecture, the last session. Um, so, um, uh, please stay here for the, for the closing. Uh, it, it will be after this session and there will be drinks and beer, right? Stuff like that. Cool stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is the last, uh, the last uh, session. Uh, we, had, uh, we have seen uh, very, very good uh, talks, especially in this, uh, in, in, in this room, the last two days, about con concurrency, about a lot about uh, functional programming, uh, performance, etc. So uh, I will speak about reactive, and I will try to uh, make a difference because with functional programming, that there were some uh, questions here to compare the, the two, and I will try to explain it how I, uh, how I see it. Um, so, one thing why mesh? Because uh, for a few years now, there have been so many um, uh, applications adopting a reactive, uh, uh, reactive programming, I mean, a reactive a a APIs, so now you can, you, you kind of create a mesh of communication, a reactive a communication around. Um, by the way, uh, who is uh, actually used uh, reactive programming here? And who, use it, who is using it in, uh, in, in production? Okay. <laughs> so, what is reactive? Uh, what is reactive? Uh, so that's uh, we, we we've seen in in, in the talk um, with with Spring about uh, the reactive manifesto. So that's an extractive reactive ma manifesto. We see the four uh, uh, key uh, elements there: uh, responsiveness, resilient, elastic, and message driven. Um, but manifesto, there is a link to the manifesto, in fact, here. Uh, and it's huge. There's a lot of talks, a lot of broad talks, and um, and um, it doesn't get really clear what reactive means, and it explains uh, reactive systems, in fact. So uh, how I explain it uh, very, very uh, simple is it just react on messages as they come. So react on messages as they come. So processing live data in a non-blocking and potentially a synchronous manner. Um, so uh, there are a few things here. We, we deal with messages, and we deal uh, with them as they come, meaning that messages come to us, we don't ask for them. Not necessarily, I will uh, explain later. Uh, I also uh, say non-blocking and potentially a synchronous manner. So, I make a little difference between non-blocking and asynchronous, and the difference is that a non-blocking um, uh, is when you call, a, you call a function and the function should return immediately. The, the function doesn't need to be uh, uh, asynchronous, right? It can just return immediately with an error or, or anything else. And, and, and asynchronous, of course, uh, means what it means, we all know what actually asynchronous means. So this is really, really simple explanation of reactive. Um, and there are some key elements. Uh, we have also saw them um, in the talk of Vavar, I think. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of talks. Um, it was JavaSlang, yeah, previously it was JavaSlang. So, so, so what I have there, um, what I have there is um, they type, they type different, uh, uh, dif uh, different events, in fact. So, 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 so you have a type for, uh, for a failure, you have a type for a completion, you have other types. And that's actually uh, what is adopted uh, in reactive and reactive streams, in fact. Uh, fault tolerant. And another thing which is adopted is, is also completion tolerant. It sounds strange, but uh, yeah, there is also a completion type, a stage there. So that's one, uh, one important 
thing there. Also, back pressure. I will mention this several times uh, later in the slides. Uh, but what back pressure means is essentially when you um, bombard a client, uh, uh, an observer, a subscriber, with a lot of messages, they have a way, they have to have a way to actually uh, inform you, hey, I mean, I cannot process those messages that fast, please um, uh, stop a little bit. Um, I will explain this later in the slides, as I said, more in detail. Um, there were several uh, questions. Uh, I've heard uh, similar questions before, and people are asking, okay, we have this uh, reactive, uh, um, reactive stream, Cyrix Java, or whatever. Uh, what, uh, what about other things we already have? What about it, iterator? Iterator is a cool, um, cool thing, but this is, this is actually pulling stuff, right? So this is, this is the, there is a big difference. Um, observer, uh, observer is, is cool because you receive messages, but you, you cannot actually know uh, when there is an error, except if uh, yeah. so something is thrown at you, or you don't know when uh, kind of the thing is completed. For example, in uh, iterator, you can have has next. Uh, you don't have that. And of course, the, the, there are many other things uh, regarding functional composition, etc. cetera. Um, Java 8 streams. Java 8 streams, we saw there was a question, in fact, uh, how do you compare uh, those streams with, uh, with uh, Eric Java or reactive streams? Well, they're, they're different. They're, they're different and uh, just say that it's, it is, the difference is mainly in, in the push um, uh, mechanism of reactive and the pull of, uh, of Java streams. And I will, uh, I will point uh, as well some, some yeah, some other differences later in the slides again. Uh, of course, we know all about, all about call, a callback future promises a, a completable few, a future. These are also uh, some things we use, but uh, and they do the job. But if you use them too much, uh, your code becomes to look like uh, JavaScript. Um, absolutely not readable and maintainable. Although maintainability of code is. Message queues. Message queues are queues, of course, but they're just queues. Uh, they're, they're essentially orthogonal with the with the with the reactive streams because yeah, you can you can you manage your messages in the queue. It's it's a, it's a tool to manage messages, um, but reactive streams manages uh, uh, much more thing, uh, things re regarding communicating those messages and as I said, other. Uh, features like back pressure, etc. So, uh, the functional the functional world with uh, uh, in uh, Java, we have a lot of uh, fun functional uh, libraries on top of uh, Java H streams, and the thing is similar there. They are just uh, functional libraries, um, and here to uh, to mention, a reactive is functional as well, but. Uh, the functional part is just, is just the ability to um, uh, create a chain of uh, operators, of functional operators, and that's the functional part. It's clean, it's nice, um, readable, uh, but um, the whole mechanism to deal with the messages, back, again, is not uh, supported there. So there's no kind of... Uh, Comparison there. Uh, why reactive? Uh, yeah, clear declarative a control data flow. A similar thing you may say for uh, for the func for, for the functional approaches there. Um, this can be done pos possibly across uh, asynchronous boundaries. Um, this means uh, not uh, not only threads. This means uh, machines and uh, anything else, basically. Um, it's seamlessly scalable. Uh, yeah, it's seamlessly scalable because uh, it's uh, functional, it's based on components. 
Responsiveness and non-blocking, of course, this is essential, and uh, we need that. Um, about non-blocking non thing, I will mention uh, again uh, later, but uh, it is very important uh, not to block. You, we mentioned in the in the in the spring talk uh, about connections that are uh, full, so so the server cannot accept uh, more connections. And that's a problem. I have faced this problem, um, and this you can fix uh, with uh, reactive streams. In fact, um, if you look at Node.js, uh, which is event loop based, and not thread pool based, like we all uh, used to uh, have our servers mostly, uh, so it, it, it has a single uh, thread. So, so if this thread is blocked, you cannot accept any any more connections. So that's. Uh, kind of uh, impossible to have in production. Uh, so all the rest of the code is, um, is, uh, is going, um, yeah, it, it's making asynchronous uh, com a a computations, non-blocking I.O. and leaves immediately the main thread so more connections can come in. Um, we have, uh, yeah, we have heard again uh, in that previous talk, uh, that uh, reactor uh, is adopting this as well. Um, it's adopting di I this as well, so, uh, so, you, so, so you have one place where you get the, the connection and, and you release it. Uh, very good candidate for, F for this thing is uh, Neti, of course, as it's non blocking nature. Um, and. Uh, um, Netflix. Netflix has uh, been testing on that few few years ago. Um, they have, have been tested, tested with um, um, with uh, Threadpool, with Tomcat, and Netty, uh, with Event Loop, and they have seen uh, they have seen huge differences uh, when your amount of connections um, is 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 very big, and and that's the advantage, of course, of the Event Loop. Uh, Loop approach. Um, so that it does not block consumer when uh, the consumer uh, reads. Uh, events are pushed essentially to the consumer. Um, I mentioned this uh, several times, and that does not block the producer when it writes, because the consumer informs the producer uh, that he doesn't need more messages right now. Um, and the producer does something else. So, so the resources are uh, settled accordingly. Um, and that's about the utilization of the CPU and memory. Um, yeah, and because you, you, can, you, you can run a lot of functional tasks uh, asynchronously, you utilize more the CPU. And because you don't uh, store your intermediate um, objects, if you will, because a lot of us store ob objects, then, then do something with them, and then put them uh, onto the UI, for example. Uh, that's not needed. For, uh, that, that's not, not, not needed. It's not good for, uh, for the memory. It's not good, uh, good for, the, for the speed, for the processing. We just need to have one stream uh, uh, directly from the source to the consumer. Um, so, I will talk about uh, some reactive libraries. Um, Reac Rx Java, uh, one of the most famous ones, R Rx Java 1, Rx Java 2, and uh, there's uh, Rx Java 3 coming. I will explain a little bit there. Who's using Rx Java? Okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Eric Java One is not um, it's not uh, yeah it's not going to to be supported anymore. Tomorrow is the feature freeze, uh, 2018. Uh, yeah, it will just uh, uh, not be used. Uh, Eric Java Two uh, is a is a, yeah it's a major step forward. Uh, before I go to Reactor Core, I will explain a little bit. Eric Java Eric Java started in fact. Uh, the, the, the reactive initiative, uh, Eric Java tests for reactive extension. So this initiative started back in 2009 by Eric Meyer in Microsoft. Um, so we started there. 
about uh, yeah 2013 or later or, or, or some, somewhere there, Net, and, and Netflix started to adopt that, and uh, they, they started in, internally. It was it was very very poor, didn't have a lot of things. Of course, uh, even not back pressure. Those things uh, they thought of them later. Um, so Netflix started to use them, of course, because of their uh, yeah, huge traffic. They not don't use them for for streaming, of course. There, there is different things there, um, yes, etc. But uh, they, they use them for the all the getting information about movies, uh, etc. Actors, we saw yeah, a lot of actors pre previously. Um, so um, another uh, big uh, another thing which made Eric Java very po popular was Android. So Android uh, the developers they adopted uh, uh, Eric Java. Um, and it was implemented in a lot of uh, libraries. There, 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 there are a lot of implementations of adapters um, to, a, uh, yeah, to a lot of libraries. And uh, in Android, uh, of course, it's not about the, uh, the connections of the server, it's about uh, clarity. Um, it's, it's about clarity of code and also uh, yeah, because of this asynchronous, uh, asynchronous aspect. Because an Android application nowadays needs to communicate with 10 web services, if, if, if you will. And this gets really, really messy if you use call, a call box or the tools provided by uh, Android itself. And that's why Eric Java um, is um, supporting um, Java 6. Re Reactor Core is uh, Java 8. Reactor Core. Uh, started a few years after uh, Eric Java. Reactor Core started. Um, <coughs> Reactor Core started um, uh, immediately to adopt reactive streams. Um, I'll explain about them uh, as well later. Um, their uh, reactive core library is part of Reactor Project, uh, as we already know. And uh, the development of Eric Java and Reactive Core. And, and, and the library itself, all the operators, uh, the API is quite similar. Uh, th those both li libraries are, are quite si similar because they communicate a lot. Um, and uh, one of the, yeah, the, 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 the main developer of, of Eric Java, David Karnock, uh, he is involved very, very much in the Reactive Core um, project as well. Uh, Akestream is another big one. It's part of Akka. Akka streams. Uh, so, so Akka streams is is uh, naturally uh, Akka is uh, is based on the actor model, right? So, so there are actors there, uh, which sends messages um, through dispatchers, etc. And Akka stream actually use those actors to uh, to uh, make uh, to implement react reactive streams. Um, so. I will give examples later. Reactive streams, I mentioned several times. Reactive streams, it just, it just four interfaces with seven methods or something like that. I will show that this, this is just a uh, very, very simple uh, interface to define uh, um, how uh, those reactive libraries should co communicate. One of the main um, purposes of, of reactive streams is um, in interoperability, because you have all those libraries, not too, uh, too much, but uh, you have th those libraries, so you want to have one stream co communicate with, with, the, with the other stream seamlessly. So that's one of the main reasons. <coughs> and there's this uh, question about Java 8 flow. So Java 8 flow is essentially a copy of reactive streams. Um, yeah, th there's some extra things that they have put in. Um, some people do not like them, but we will see wh what will happen and when Java 8, uh, Java 9 comes uh, live, in fact. Uh, Reactor Core supports already, it has an adapter for a Java 8 uh, uh, flow. I will uh, say one, uh, one word and I will explain later in detail. Eric Java 1 is not based on reactive streams. It started before this initiative. Um, and Eric Java 2 is um, a mixture. Uh, uh, so, so the library has an API which, which is supporting uh, reactive streams, 
and a part which is sim similar to Eric Java 1. So, uh, reactive embedded li li libraries. What are the uh, enabled libraries? How you enable a library? You, you, you create a, a reactive adapter, re reactive adapter with, uh, which uh, can com communicate with um, uh, reactive streams API and can get your, your data. But uh, yeah, I, was, I wanted to, to put some, but there are too many. So the, uh, there is a reactive adapter for most of the libraries we already know. Um, if you need one, just find it. I mean, Google it, it's there. So uh, there's, there are a lot of things. Uh, how Spring 5 now is, uh, is, is fully based on uh, a reactive. So Eric Java 1, I will give you some, some examples of the main uh, types we have there. Uh, so, so we have the observable. Um, uh, so do, at observable, uh, is um, is a producer is a producer of uh, messages single and, and completable as well. Um, single is uh, one item or an error, and and completable is uh, it just com it completes a complete signal. Uh, so observer, of course, you have the guy uh, who is consuming them the messages, and you have a, sub a subscription. Which uh, which uh, deals with uh, uh, with some parameters of of the the contract between the observable and the observer, and you have a subject. A subject is both observable and observer, um, and they're yeah uh, they're very uh, they're diff different implementations. They do different things. Uh, Eric Java two is very similar, but we have with the slash we have the um, type which is um, implementing reactive streams uh, in interfaces. So we have observable as in Eric Java 1, but, but we, we, have, we have a flowable, we have a single, and completable, and we have a maybe. A maybe, you might guess. Uh, it's either one thing or nothing, or an error, of course. Um, why a maybe? Because if single does not receive uh, any item, and it, com it completes, and then it's not good. Uh, it throws an error, and people uh, yeah, uh, were well, you, you using that, uh, and they have complained. So we have a maybe. You have observer and a flowable subscriber. So we we call them subscribers in Eric Java 2, the ones which are compatible with, with uh, uh, reactive streams. We have a disposable and a subscription. Uh, so yeah, disposable and subscription manages still the contract. Uh, it's a little bit different there, and, and uh, it's a little bit more important now in Eric Java 2. And we have, again, the subject and the flowable processor, and the, the processor is, is the same thing, is at the same time a flowable uh, and a subscriber. Reactor uh, core, uh, I think we, we have seen, we have flux, uh, we, we, which is the same like observable, and we have a mono. Um, so, so a mono can it, it can be a maybe a completable or a single a mono void. Uh, it, it does not emit anything. Um, so you can use it as a completable mono uh, an item. So yeah, you can use that. Just, just those two producers. You have a, su a subscriber. You have a su sub subscription and flex processor. So you, you see the same. We see the same name pr pr processor. So it's the same thing, essentially. So you see how similar those libraries. Uh, are, I mean the APIs. And now I will show you a reactive uh, ACA streams. So ACA streams, they have similarities, uh, but they're a little bit different be because of the nature of the actors and the, and, and the whole uh, control of those actors there. So we have a source and a sync, a similar producer and, and a consumer. As we saw, we have a flow, a concept of a flow, um, a concept of a flow and the concept of a graph uh, and a materializer. So, um, <coughs> actually, ACA streams uh, have this nice graph uh, DSL, uh, which they build the flows with. It's it's very very uh, useful, uh, and they work with shapes. I will show a picture later. Um, they work with shapes. So, so you actually uh, have an, uh, a source which. Uh, has no input but has an output. You have a sync and you have a flow which has uh, an input and an output, uh, and, and those are es essentially shapes. Uh, you, you have a, a closed shape, I, I believe that was is called, 
and and that's actually uh, one com a completed uh, one com a completed flow. Um, so let's see. I will show some pictures a little bit later. Uh, reactive streams. So that's uh, what um, that's the, the, the basically the, the interface. Uh, so we have a publisher, you have a subscriber, you have a subscription, you have a processor. I will not explain those again. And these are, how many I said, seven? Uh, well, they're kind of, um, uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I will explain about Akis streams because uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the development went yeah. differently. They're, they're compatible, but the types, in fact, the types that, that we work with, ACA streams, uh, they're not actually uh, implementations of reactive streams, but they're compatible with that. So, 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 so they, they can go to, to uh, yeah. Uh, so, these uh, these methods uh, I will explain fast here. Um, um, the subscribe is obvious. On next on air and on com a complete are the messages we receive, the events we receive actually, and non subscribe we receive when the subscriber is, uh, is is subscribed carrying the subscription, as we will see in the diagram. This is this is an, uh, an, an important thing because the subscription, as we can see in the subscription interface, um, manages um, how the data is flowing. So, uh, a little bit of visual. So, uh, so we have there, we have their uh, publisher. We, um, uh, yes, the, <laughs> the 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 right one. I'm sorry, is um, is a subscriber. Um, so we have a, the the right one is a subscriber. I will fix the slide. Uh, so the the, the subscribers uh, subscribes, and the subscriber receives unsubscribe. Right uh, and receives the subscription. The subscriber then use this a subscription instance to actually um, to actually um, get the data. Uh, one uh, one important thing uh, in reactive streams is that um, the subscriber uh, has to uh, request um, request data to uh, to receive data either completely a push model or um, push-pull uh, type of co communication. But this is uh, imperative after the, the subscription is received. So that's more or less how the thing goes. The subscription, uh, uh, yeah, so you receive on next, on next, on next, and then uh, you receive a cancel, uh, a cancel uh, uh, message. Uh, why reactive streams? Um, I mentioned already mainly because the interoperability between between libraries. So, for example, you can use uh, MongoDB driver as we have in in, in the next uh, in, in, yeah the, the session in the next room. Uh, we have a MongoDB driver, uh, and then we can use this uh, driver. Uh, for example, it's it's it's, it's uh, written with with Reactor, and then you can use it or RxJava, and then you can use it in your Spring uh, with uh, the Reactor framework. So this is this is important. So it's not just this, uh, um, these interfaces is a, is a, a big uh, a TCK, in fact, where you, you can go uh, and see it's, a, yeah, it's, um, it's uh, describes a lot of things and a lot of tests. Um, so uh, when a library imp imp implements uh, a, uh, When a library, yeah, sorry. When a, a, a library wants to um, uh, imp implement reactive streams, it needs to uh, be compatible and needs to pass uh, this TCK. So um, I will go back there. Um, so. Uh, how how we represent uh, how we represent um, those flows? 
uh, in uh, Eric Java. Uh, it, it started from Eric Java, in fact, and uh, it, uh, it's used in a reactor, so we represent it with marbles. So the marbles are essentially the messages you uh, receive. Um, this uh, box here, this square here, is, is the uh, operator. So in that case, it's a flat map. And then you have an, another stream of uh, messages. And that's uh, the data which is, uh, um, yeah, which uh, is the result of the flat map. And then you, you, you can, of course, uh, connect those. Uh, this signal at the end is, is a completion signal. Um, you can use, there's a link to Erex Marbles. It's a very nice JavaScript li library based on the, uh, the JavaScript uh, Erex Java. Uh, no, Erex for JavaScript. <laughs> uh, and and you, you can ex ex experiment and, and move data around and see uh, what different, uh, what actually different um, operators do and how they behave. Uh, I talked about Akka and about uh, the, 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 the shapes and the, the actors. So, um, so we have this kind of uh, graph uh, there. So that's the, the, the graph that Aki is using. And um, I talked about the, the DSL as well. And that's uh, actually uh, the DSL one can use to create, uh, to create a graph like, like that. It's, uh, this is kind of very different from what we uh, uh, do with Eric Java and uh, Reactor. But it's, uh, it's, uh, it's also very nice. So um, let's see some uh, example, uh, example um, flow creations, uh, example flows. Um, and how we, we write them in Eric Java 1. So we, we, we have a, an observable. Uh, by range, we, uh, we, we, we create an observable um, from 1 to 100. So it will spit out the numbers from 1 to 100. Then we uh, apply the map for a function. So it, it, it will add to uh, every item uh, 33. And then we print them, as simple as that. So, so, so in subscribe, of course, we, yeah, here, uh, uh, we actually, it's, it's just an action because a, a, a subscriber can uh, uh, yeah, uh, just implement the handling of the on next. And then on, on next, we just print the line. So Eric Java 2 uh, is exactly the same thing, right? Uh, I use flowable, flow, but we can find, uh, you can use, you can use um, observable. Um, flux. You see, it's, it's very, very similar. And of course, ACA streams, you can use ACA streams like that. Uh, just one note um, about ACA streams, you see the different thing is the materializer. So normally, uh, when, and that's another different uh, thing when you deal with, with Java 8 streams, for example, and those kind of streams, because those ki kind of streams, nothing is flowing unless you subscribe, right? Uh, run for each is also a subscribe type of mechanism uh, with ACA. Uh, so when you subscribe, then the whole uh, chain is informed. There is a subscriber. Let's do something, right? And it uh, starts to, the, in the data starts to flow. Uh, the, the materializer is is the thing that actually um, converts. So it's, com it's configurable in Aka. So it, it 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 converts this flow uh, you generate with the graph DSL um, to to an actual flow. So so it does several things. It optimizes it. Uh, applies uh, fusion, I will explain about that at the end. Um, so you have to call, uh, you have to you, you use that uh, with ACA streams. Uh, it actually make those actors in ACA um, the um, uh, operators. So um, apart from, we, we saw, uh, we saw uh, the range thing, uh, there's several other ways to actually create yourself uh, a source. For Eric Java one, uh, you, I will not explain in detail. You have a few. Um, for uh, Eric Java two, we see we have uh, uh, we have one column is the, the the observable type, the old one. The new one is the flowable type, which I, I already explained. Um, um, there is an important uh, thing uh, um, here. You see uh, an, 
the bottom when you create and you create your own emitter so so you can put any fun a function uh, like this one is the magic fu a function the cancelable <laughs> it doesn't do anything but uh, you also put a back pressure strategy back pressure strategy uh, is how uh, you deal with back pressure so the the, the left uh, the left side does not know about back pressure uh, meaning that you will go uh, uh, you, you will have out of memory exceptions if your producer is super super, super fast and your consumer is slow. Uh, you're obliged to uh, configure black, a back pressure on the right hand, hand side uh, with the flowables. Back pressure, in fact, uh, adds some com a complexity and um, yeah, it in, in affects the, the performers. So if you don't expect to have faster producers, uh, just use the left side. Uh, reactor has some uh, similar ways to create uh, so, uh, sources uh, and um, yeah uh, some questions uh, so far no questions okay so testing re reactive code so you you uh, uh, probably tested some kind of a synchronous code you, you did with uh, with callbacks so uh, it's kind of a hell you have to have uh, uh, pl uh, yes what is observable? Uh, which one? In here? An observable is a source of uh, is a source is a source of data, right? So you have a source of data. Uh, for example, in this in this uh, let's say in the examples here, I create a source of from one to one hundred. It's equivalent to a for loop, right? However, this for loop doesn't start to execute until something is subscribed to it. For example, uh, I can have a source, a file, uh, there are ad 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 adapters, libraries to read files. So, so I can, the, the, the essence is here that I can create my observable uh, and I create all the operators I want to do with, with, with the data that will eventually come. And then when the time comes, I will subscribe to it. Right? So you will uh, clearly see what you're dealing with. Uh, for example, some pe if people in the Android world, we, uh, I, I also develop in Android, for example, you make, you make connections uh, to, to different servers, uh, you, 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 you get the data around, uh, you, you merge it, uh, and then you, you distribute it to, to different U, U, UIs uh, in complex manners. And this, you can do it in in uh, yeah in one kind of statement you see and and you know what is happening when you press this button it makes a connection and everything come it comes back so observable is uh, your uh, um, how you plan your uh, your source is it clear So I will try to. Um, so it's it's like a collection. For example, uh, like in the in, in 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 the streams, you read from from a collection, right? And that's uh, that's the same thing. But the difference is that it pushes thing a things to you when you tell him to push me things. So the the, the example with, with this example and the example with with the files, uh, we call those called observables because. Uh, you can read the data. You can read the data uh, every time. You can start from F from the beginning. Uh, you can uh, control them. Hot observables. <laughs> However, you don't have too much uh, control, and the data just floats. And when uh, you miss the data, you miss the data, and that's it. So that's a different type of observable. Just the source of data, where the data is contained eventually. A little bit more clear. I okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So I was saying that uh, that is very di a difficult test code with latches. Um, so uh, it is indeed difficult, uh, but in. Um, in uh, Eric Java, for example, and also we have a library in the reactor. Uh, they're very handy uh, um, test options. Um, 
to uh, to test uh, to test those flows. I will uh, I will show fast uh, uh, here an example. Uh, yeah, is it re readable a little bit? Uh, yeah, but I want to show some, something else. But uh, uh, so yeah. Yeah, last one, yeah. Yeah, but it's like, so these are, uh, these are, um, these are a simple test. Um, and uh, you create your normal uh, flowable, uh, and then you create a test flowable uh, uh, from, F F from it, and then you uh, kind of assert what, uh, what is the result there. Um, you can, uh, by test M empty, you have the all items uh, transmitted. Uh, with test zero, you, re you request no items. Um, and then you assert that there are no values in, in, in the first line here. Then, then you assert, that then you ask for F1 more. And then you assert the next one. And so forth, you ask for F2 more. And then you assert the, all those values in there. Very, very handy uh, things, for example, um, like if you deal with uh, something that is slow, for example, you can wait for those um, and, uh, yeah, and different, uh, uh, different other options. There are many, many options. We don't have time for that. I want to show some other things as well. So, so testing is relatively easy. Uh, testing is, is quite... Uh, it's quite easy there. Uh, one thing, um, um, one thing, uh, what is difficult is in fact, uh, no, that's another one. So one thing that is a little bit difficult is uh, when you have a um, uh, when you have a stack trace uh, when you debug essentially. So, um, so when you debug, um, then you have uh, you have kind of a problem. Um, you have a big stack trace. So, uh, so yeah, when you have an error there, and uh, it's difficult to see. So that's a huge a stack trace, for example, and uh, yeah, and and uh, it could be bigger, and your code is somewhere lost. In a way, so, so it's difficult. But there are many, many, yeah, there are other solutions and libraries to help you um, add hooks, in fact, and uh, and manage the code. Of course, uh, it affects the, the performance. What what about the performance now? So we've been asked uh, a lot of time about the performance here, and this is um, this is taken from. Um, David Carnock, actually, he is, is, is essentially a compilation of the past year um, performance tests on different uh, um, data processing libraries, including uh, including um, Reactive and other ones, including the different languages. In fact, so we see that that the, the native streams in Java 8, the parallel streams are are are, are quite fast, um, but um, uh, Eric Java 2 is after that, um, and then um, yeah, and then it comes the reactor. Um, it, these are parallel streams. Then we have some optimized things and some uh, um, other um, extensions uh, uh, tested there, which are uh, well, they are uh, using some called Fusion. Um, fu fusion is now internal in in the reactor. And, uh, and Eric Java, but it is not um, a public a API yet. Uh, but it improves a lot, uh, we'll explain in a short uh, while uh, in there. But we see also Aka streams. Aka streams is, is, is far away down. It's because of the, the, whole, the whole thing there that, uh, that they do with actors. So it puts, uh, yeah, it puts a lot of uh, yeah, a performance uh, degradation there. So, so um, uh, yeah, I will talk uh, about fusion. Fusion. What uh, is fusion? Is essentially um, 
making uh, your flows more um, optimized. Um, so, um, uh, so, so it may be that uh, that you uh, for, uh, do not have. Uh, you, you can combine some operators. You don't need some operators. You don't need some um, thread switching. Uh, uh, and uh, this can be improved with Fusion. You can combine um, um, some operators. You can co combine the data there. For example, uh, a map, uh, a subscription of a map is actually a queue. So you can use the same queue, and then you just just copy it over to, to the next uh, to the next um, operator. So you don't really. Uh, uh, have two queues and pass the, the data through uh, through the queues is not needed. Another thing is that uh, it's like some uh, something like has next. Uh, some, uh, sometimes when you request one and there is nothing, so it's better to ask uh, uh, if there's some uh, something before you request it because it adds uh, some extra stuff. Uh, um, yeah, uh, it, uh, it 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 uh, inc increments a counter and and other things which can be. Uh, Performance, uh, yeah. So uh, there are two different types of, confu uh, of uh, fusion. <laughs> uh, it's a macro fusion and uh, and micro fusion. I will uh, show. It's basically, as I said al already, it happens uh, before the the flow is running, and uh, I, um, it can replace an operator with another. It can replace it with a custom operator. Uh, it can. Um, uh, replace it during a subscription time or it can change the parameters of the operator in order to make it more performant. Uh, the microfusion is a little bit more um, difficult, uh, is that uh, you have a um, conditional subscriber, um, so you may not need a subscriber. Uh, in, in a way, this is uh, the example of the request one. So you first ask if there's something to be requested, and then you request this element. That, that, that's quite internal. Um, uh, synchronous fusion is when uh, you see that, uh, that the subscription implements some kind of a queue, so you can immediately reuse that um, when you create a new su a subscription. But um, you may not have uh, that, in that case. You may have a queue. Uh, which is hidden inside the implementation of the subscription. In that case, that's a asynchronous uh, asynchronous uh, fu fusion, and there is a contract which is uh, which um, allows um, uh, the implementation to be asked if uh, it it can be fusible. So so some kind of a handshake, and they can exchange um, uh, the contract they can be fused with. Um, so that's an example of the fusion. Uh, there's a link uh, explaining the fusion in, in two parts, uh, and, and that's the block of, of David Carnock. So I, uh, I mean, if you want to learn everything about Reactive, not only at Java, uh, you can read this block. It's highly tech technical. It goes in, in a lot of de details. It's uh, sometimes super difficult to understand. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I will. Uh, I want to show some uh, some interesting things. Uh, here we have talked. Uh, um, we have talked talk, talk before, in fact. Um, uh, and some some simple examples. So um, you see us here some uh, simple. Flowables and ranges, um, and when you execute this this one, for example, you will um, you will yeah, it will just output the numbers from one to um, to one to three, and of course be, because of the subscription, uh, something uh, something different, uh, how you um, actually um, see. Um, how you um, change threads. So you can change threads, for example, uh, and that's the, uh, you can change threads and the, the, the execution, where the, the execution happens uh, in, your, uh, in your flow here, and you can call subscribe on, 
and you can choose your scheduler. So essentially what's happened behind is executing uh, um, yeah, it's just, uh, uh, runables, for example, executing some, some there you can uh, use your own schedulers. Um, and um, what happens is that those two things, they run, uh, they run in fact, on a, uh, on a different threads. Uh, and this, um, uh, yeah, so there is, there is, uh, so for example, this is, if I do like this, for example, and we run it. And then you'll see. Uh, uh, no. No, but it's uh, um, <laughs> in anyway, this, uh, this, this, uh, uh, yes, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's observe, observe on, um, and this, for example, uh, this guy will, will observe, uh, I think, on the, ah, come on. No, but, but that's uh, the same thing. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what, what I do. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, that, that's the thing. Uh, one thing uh, I want to show us uh, a nice thing uh, is, is, is the parallelism, for example. So, so uh, the parallelism is a very nice thing, and you can execute uh, you can execute commands in parallel, and then uh, and then uh, map them, and then uh, put them back into sequential. So, uh, uh, just uh, if you run that, for example, uh, it will take some time. All right, I will stop that. And when you execute uh, this in parallel, uh, and, and we have seen this in some of the examples, uh, you clearly see the advantage. Uh, yeah, and, and, and there you go. Um, and there you go, uh, how, there you see how, how it actually, it's actually ex executed. So, hey, by the way, do, do next on those kind of, kind of things. You do them for, uh, um, uh, yeah, when uh, you do them for 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 uh, logging and um, and stuff like uh, like like that. Another thing is is a zip thing, which is also we used uh, we uh, it is it's actually to 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 zip uh, the data of two um, of two producers of two flow of, of two flowers. We have seen example like this as well with uh, with some of the libraries, but that is super easy because you just uh, zip, zip them and they will match. Uh, um, one, one, uh, one with A and uh, five with T, e, and they will wait for, uh, for each other. And uh, I will um, finish here because I was a little bit explaining too much. So do not block, react on things, just pass them on. And uh, yeah, and thank you. Uh, cheers, the drinks are coming. And that's the presentation uh, link, which I will fix. <laughs>